How to add a brand slider to Shopify. What's up guys, my name is Krause and in today's Shopify tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add basically a slide section onto your Shopify store where you can then display all sorts of different brands. You can use this to basically build up some social proof by showing off with what kind of brands you actually already worked with and so on. So to get started, simply just head over to your Shopify dashboard and then navigate to the settings on the bottom left and simply click on apps and sales channels right here and open up the Shopify app store. Now, basically, let me just look this up, brand slider. There are a lot of different apps and different kind of ways to of doing this essentially as you can see for example you can use this brandify app you can also use this brands page pro app and basically all of these apps are more or less going to do the same exact thing however i wouldn't actually recommend you to use them actually because first of all these are most of the time uh, are going to be paid so you will have to pay money for this which especially in the beginning i wouldn't recommend you to do and secondly if you're going to have a lot of apps on your shopify store this can also also significantly decrease the loading speed of your store and this can actually also result in you having a lower conversion rate and so on. So rather we will just have to head over to a site called F site. I basically I will leave you a link for this down below. I'm not affiliated with them. I just generally think that this is the best website out there to do this. And then basically we do want to both open up the general Shopify dashboard right here of your store. Now, if you don't already have a Shopify store, you can actually get yourself a free trial by using the link down below. And then secondly, also open up this elfsite.com app. Right here on Elf site, just click on sign up for free and then you can easily continue with Google. This is going to only take you a couple of clicks. So once this is actually going to be done, as you can see right here, we are then going to see are basically our apps catalog and right here you will then just have to look for brand right here or in this case this is going to be called logo showcase but it is basically going to do the same exact thing so just select it right here and as you can see this is how this is going to look by default and then right here on the left, we are actually going to get a lot of different kind of templates, which we can start off. As you can see, for example, we can use this one right here like this. This isn't actually going to slide. We won't have an animation for this, but in my opinion, this also does look pretty good. We also do have this simple logo slider where we do have these arrow icons. Now, if you do want to basically add a carousel where this automatically gets transitioned, we will have to select either the first one or we can also select the second one want to actually make this monochrome we can actually and i really like this one we can also use this logo tile carousel i think this does look pretty good and we can then actually also basically we can customize this depending on our own likings if you for example are a store where you do have some sponsors you can use this section right here and then you can then continue with this template to basically to show all of your sponsors however in this case we are actually going to let's just go with the default one right here and we are going to use this to actually show off brands that we have worked with in the past. So in this case, I'm just going to click on continue with this template. And now to get started, we will have to first of all, add some logos onto this. Are you struggling to find new customers for your store? Now, no worries, we've all been there. However, with the partner of today's video, Viral Ecomads, you can actually supercharge your sales just within a few days. Now, with Viral Ecomads, you're getting proven to convert ad creators for all sorts of different ad campaigns. So no matter if you do want to promote your product on TikTok, Snapchat, Facebook, or if you do want to buy UGC ads, Viral Ecomads has it all. Through these ad creatives, Viral Ecomads actually already generated over $30 million in sales for their customers. And through my link down below and with the code Krause, you can actually save an additional 15% off all of your purchases. So in this case, I'm just going to upload some example logos, which I just downloaded. Uh, these are from Adidas, Puma and Nike. So first of all, I added my Puma logo in this case. And now we will have to go ahead and customize this. Now, I will actually just leave this at the default right now. However, if for example, your logo is a little bit more, basically if it is small, you can then resize this right here so that all of your logos do have the same uh, basically the same size and then right here on the link we can actually set this up we can actually make this logo right here clickable so that for example we can say that this is going to redirect them to puma.com 
However, um, as you can see, if I'm not going to click on this, this is going to correctly redirect me, but I guess I will just leave this turned on. However, I wouldn't always recommend you to actually add this, only in certain kind of use cases. You can then also add a caption onto this. Now, basically, this is then also going to be displayed, but for now, I'm just going to click on done. I'm now just going to add a new logo onto this. And as you can see, in this case, this also has been perfectly done. Then I would probably, just to make this the same, I'm also going to add adidas.com domain, uh, basically link right here. And now this also is clickable and this will correctly redirect us. Perfect. We can now actually then click on done and I will actually add one final logo just to make it complete, uh, which in this case would be the Nike logo. And as you can see, now we do have the Nike logo in place. We can change the basically the size of this. We can also add a link nike.com and then i'm just going to click on done we can now actually also basically change the general settings of this right here on the header we can actually enable this however i wouldn't actually basically you can do this so if we for example do want to say brands that we have worked with we can then for example add a second caption uh, maybe something like we have um we have worked with thousands plus brands but these are the most well known. Obviously, if you're going to use this for your store, I would recommend you to customize this a little bit more, but in this case, I'm just going to leave it at that. And we can then actually also add a call to action button. As you can see, this is how this is going to look like. So we can, first of all, add an icon to this. We can either choose from the basically library right here. So I'm just going to click on this dollar sign, I guess or I'm just going to do this fire sign. However, you can actually also upload your own basically custom icon if you do want to. And then as for the link, you can actually customize this. Once again, you will just have to put in your URL. Now I would recommend you to simply just go ahead and head over to products, then collections, and then you can basically right here on the collections, you can then for example say that, okay, we do want to use this link for the clothing's collection. And now we can add this onto this. And now whenever someone is going to click on right here this is going to redirect them to the clothing collection perfect we can then obviously also change the text so in this case i would probably uh, change this to shop now and then we are basically done with this and then just make sure to click on publish right here on the top right now basically with this right here you will just have to click on the free plan and then click on select and now you are going to have this available. You can use this for completely free. Now, basically right here, just make sure to copy the code from right here and then head back to Shopify. Then make sure to select your online store settings on the left and then select the actual theme that you're currently editing. In this case, this would be the DOM theme. However, this is also going to work for all of the other themes out there. Just click on customize and then you will have to select the section where you do want to add this to. In my case, I'm just going to add it to the homepage section. Just to save you guys some time and then this is really important we actually do want to search for liquid and we do want to select this custom liquid section right here simply just add this and then paste in the code that we have just copied uh, onto this now this isn't going to show up right now but i'm simply just going to save this and if we're now going to view our online store as you can see we do have this thing right here we can see all of the different brands we can then actually also click on them and basically we can use this to show what kind of brands we have worked with additionally you can also use a, basically an app called gem pages i will also leave you a link for this in the description down below this is going to get you a super advanced basically landing page builder which can actually significantly increase your conversion rates i will also leave you a video on screen right now where you can see an in-depth tutorial about gem pages we all know that starting a successful Shopify store can be super hard. That's why I'm right now giving out my Shopify course for completely free. Now you're going to learn everything needed to actually streamline your Shopify success in that exact course. So make sure to click on the link down below to get started.